welcome viewers to another episode on ASOG 12 exams. So in this episode we start looking at the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 1. So we are going to look at, at this paper extensively covering each and every question in detail giving you tips and tricks on how to ace your G12 exams. So let us straight move to question E1. Evaluate open bracket 3 over 2 close bracket to the power negative 2. This one is from indices. So once you go through as, as many past papers as possible you discover that these questions are the same. It's just changing numbers. Otherwise, the principle remains the same. That's why if you go through as many past papers as possible, it's difficult for you to fail. So to answer this question, we're going to use two key principles. The first principle that we're going to use is when we are given 1 over a, this is the same as a to the power negative 1. This is the first principle. The second principle that we are going to use is the fact that if you have a fraction a over b, then raised to the power n is the same as basically a to the power n divided by b to the power n. This is key. So based on these principles, we can basically extend this to mean if you have a over b to the power negative 1 this is the same as remember this a reversal of this so it's the same as basically 1 now 1 over is divide 1 so 1 divide by basically a over b to the power 1 is that principle that we use. So if this was now negative n not 1, it will become now positive n that side. So if you understand these principles, then it's easier for you to answer this question. So based on these principles, let us now answer this question. So evaluate 3 over 2 to the power negative 2. This is the same as the first thing, using this principle, the first principle, this becomes basically 1 divide by 3 over 2 to the power positive n. What is the n here? In this case this n is equal to negative 2. So because this is negative 2 this is n then n becomes 2. So this becomes to the power 2 which is the same as basically now 1 divide divine. Now we use this principle. This principle is what we are going to use now. We distribute the power. So it becomes 3 to the power 2 over 2 to the power 2. Which is basically the same as 1 divide divine. 3 to the power 2 we get what? 9. Then 2 to the power 2 is the same as 2 to the times 2 which is basically 4. So this becomes now 1 by uh, the principle of multiplication and division, if we were to change this division to multiplication, what it means is here now we are going to have multiplication, then we swap these. The moment division changes to multiplication. So basically we are going to have 4 over 9. So 1 times 4 over 9 is basically 4 over 9 because anything times 1 is itself. So basically we end up with the answer to be 4 over 9. 9 as our answer. So basically, this is how you answer question 1. Let us look at question 2. Factorize completely 2ax plus 4ay minus 3bx minus 6by. So basically, there is always a question on factorize and the principles remain the same. Is the matter of understanding what is expected of you. So the question is asking us to factorize. That's what is the key. Factorize. So for us to factorize, we need to look at how many terms do we have. So we have four items in this case. Then are these items, we can group them in two, two. Then we look for what is common 
among those groupings. Then, once we do collect three, you discover that the pattern is the same, and you'll be able to tell that the question you've gotten it correctly. So, we have basically 2ax plus 4ay. Then I'm going to use a different color for the other grouping, minus 3bx minus 6by, like this. So what I'm going to do now in this case, I'm going to look at what is common between these two. So I have 2a, then I have the other side, 4a. And we know that x and y, they are different items but a and a they are same then two can go in two form so because of that i can factor out two and a because remember a divided by a a into a is basically equal to one they will cancel okay so we start now two two a into two a x is this principle we have two a divided by two then here there is x, so a and a cancels, then that, that and that cancels. So this is what is basically happening in this case. So because of that, what we have now in this case would mean with x, which is the one which is here. Then basically plus, because it's a positive, then 2a into 4a. So what I have is 4a, then we divide the 2a. So a and a cancels, 2 into 4 is basically 2. 2 times y? Remember, there is a y here. So, that 1, that 2. 2 times y, basically 2y. So, here I have 2y in this case. Then, let me use another color. Then, when you are looking at the items that are in red ink, then I will look at negative, negative. So, they all have negatives. I know that 3 can go into 6 without leaving a remainder. So, I can take out minus 3. Then they all have a B, just like it. the one in blue that D, A. So B there outside, then I can factor out. So what I'm going to do now is basically we have a case, a similar case, where we have minus BX divided by minus 3B. Then you discover that this one and this one cancels, this one and this one cancels, it's a 1, then multiply by that. 1 multiplied by x, I'm going to remain with basically x here. Then, negative 3b into negative 6by. So, negative into negative is a positive, so this one is a positive. Then, I know 3 into 6 is basically 2. Then, b into b is 1. 1 times y is a y. So, we have that. So, what is key here is ensuring that these in brackets, they are the same. If they are not the same, you've made a mistake. Check your workings. Then, at this point, it's much more easier. We can just fact out what is common in between these, this term and these term. We know that this in brackets is common. So, we are going to say x plus 2y is common. Then, uh, this one into this whole thing we are going to remain with basically 2a then the same x plus 2y into this whole thing is basically minus 3b so when you look at this this is the factorized answer so we have x plus 2y multiplied by basically 2a minus 3b as our answer once you do that you get the two max. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, video. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to our channel because we've got so much content for you. So once you subscribe and go to our YouTube channel, you'll discover that we've got extensive exam revision where we've covered questions in mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Then we are also adding more subjects. We've got also another section which is topic based exam question revisions this is uh, the best section for you if you are facing any challenges in any specific topic remember for you to master anything you need to know how questions are asked hence we give you tips and tricks by giving you extensive explanation to each and every question